Can we make a Neapolitan style, of course, mini pizza with these gas burners? This gets super hot. So if we like rebuild this, I think we should be able to make Neapolitan style pizza here at home. Um, I found the right flour, I found the right, right tomatoes and I found the right cheese. And we have a massive heat source here. So I think this is probably possible. Here we have a, a beer I brewed. It's a, like a mock pilsner from Lutra Quaik yeast. I will drop a link to the grain glass video of this beer. This is a home brewing channel, but I did a video to a friend called Russell, Rusty the, the, the gusher, about how to make a sourdough starter from your malt. I will of course link down below to everything. So this goes like super hot, over 800 degrees Celsius. The good doctor will translate that into Fahrenheit. Yeah, thank you very much. So we need to rebuild this and we need to make a proper sourdough pizza from the uh, sour starter from malt. Nice and we'll try to see if we can <laughs> make Neapolitan style pizza here at home. Are you excited? Let's get baking. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So this is a little side step. I usually do videos about beer and home brewing. So if you are interested in beer and want to learn a little more about home brewing with me and yeah, try to become a better brewer, consider becoming a subscriber. And yeah, do hit that little bell to get notifications when I put out a new video. And of course, thumbs up this video. <sighs> yeah, I'm pumped. Let's get baked. No, let's get baking. Ah. Okay, it's time to make the dough for the Napolitan style pizza and I found the correct flour, the Tipo OO. Tipo double O. Nice. We're trying to make this real. I like to ferment my sourdoughs in a container like this. And I will ferment this cold in the fridge. I usually don't measure stuff when I'm baking, uh, but because this is for video and if someone wants to replicate it, we will measure and see where we end up. So we're gonna start with the sourdough starter. This is a big starter. Let's use like 80 grams. That's more than 80, that's 100. Okay, let's use 100 grams. So you don't really need much, so this is a big starter. There's much you can do with, with the starter. That starter is, for example, ready for making waffles right now. If you're interested in that, uh, you can comment down below. I'll see if I can do something about that. But that's really cool. You can prepare everything. And as long as you have active culture, you could put like cheese, egg, cream, ham, doesn't really matter. The active culture will preserve it. As long as you keep on feeding it, it's preserving everything. Don't tell your doctor I told you so. So I'm gonna add two deciliters of water, 200 grams of water. This is water for my own well without any chloride, chlorine, tear. 200, about 205. I will mix this up and I will add the salt. The salt you will be using is a salt without iodine. It could be Him Himalayan salt, it could be kosher salt, it could be uh, sea salt, but it shall not have iodine in it because that's not good for the uh, fermentation process. So try to skip that. You know, this is real bread we're making. Bread contains of only three ingredients as water, flour and salt. No yeast ain't an active part of making bread. Should do sour bread. Let's say nine grams of salt. May sound like a lot but I ain't gonna add any salt to the tomato sauce. So I will add the salt now because 
it will better spread. I know when some people are making sourdough, they wait to add the salt after a while, but I haven't had any issues doing it like this. And now the flour, the tipo OO, you don't have to use this flour, just I'm going all in today on the Neapolitan style pizza. So everything should be correct. 300 grams to start with. We'll see if we need to correct this recipe or not. I never used this flour and this is supposed to hold water much better. So we will see if we have to adjust the recipe. Let's start mixing. I usually use my hands, but I have some expensive cameras and stuff around me. I will get messy. It will get messy as always, of course. We will add some more flour so, so we can uh, give you guys a good recipe. Okay, so 350 gram. If someone could please write this down. Maybe the doctor can write the recipe down while editing. Yes, please go ahead and do that. The cool thing here is there's no really need for kneading. No need for kneading, no need for kneading, yes. The bacteria will take care of this for us. It's a very loose dough. We'll use some more flour. 25 grams, okay, so 375 grams so far. This is not a professional baking show, guys. This is all about playing with the oven, of course. She's nice and loose, a little, little bit more flour. 25 grams, so we're up to 400 grams now. So, so far, nine grams of salt, 100 grams of starter, 200 grams of water and 400 grams of flour. Now, this will be fine. See, you can use the lovely table. There's no need for kneading, as I said. I'm just wanting to look a little bit pretty. You don't want to over knead your dough for pizza. There's no need for kneading. So, with that said, let's just place it in there. I'm not going to warm proof this. I know that people are often doing that and you can do that, but I want this to cold ferment. I will place this actually directly into the fridge now. If you want to speed things up, you can place it a few hours uh, in room temperature if you want to bake tomorrow, but I'm not going to bake tomorrow. So I will place this in the fridge to cold ferment. So this goes into the fridge. Today is a good day to die, but yeah, the day is not yet over. Here we have material for the, the pizza stone. We also have some material for a pizza peel. So just gonna copy this, this rack. I want it to be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. Protection first. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm screaming. The microphone is a bit away. Uh, protection, maybe your mom should have thought about that. That wasn't nice. Shit happens when you party naked. Just like cutting into butter. Just like cutting into butter. Am I screaming? Sorry. Uh, let's try this. Like a glove. Maybe, maybe it's too long. You could trim it on the inside there. Let me go and get a pen. Don't, don't try this at home. Leave this to us professionals. I'm so gonna hurt myself. Shave off this. We're recording. Yes. Okay. Still screaming, still wearing. Safety first. Okay. It's perfect. But now it's perfect. Did I say that it was perfect? Okay, now we have a perfect snug fit. The idea was to put the pizza stone there. And if that don't work, 
we could try with the front door or we could cut it even smaller and then let it rest on one of these grates instead but first we need to try this because this comes up to 800 celsius 1470 fahrenheit and we don't need all that heat for neapolitan style pizza okay i've been going now for about 10 minutes but it's quite windy here today over 300 celsius aus hot over 300 on the outside here that's quite good should we just try to see if what would happen if we put the, uh, the door on? I don't have a door just yet, but we could make one. We could make a, a door from something like this. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be hot. Yeah. It's, it's getting hot. 393, 395 even, up to 740 in Fahrenheit. 394 that should about do it but we don't actually need all the, that space up there so maybe we should rethink this okay if we put it it's straight if you put it like that that might give us room to come in here with the pizza with the peel once that is heating up let's see if we can make a simple pizza peel this is just gonna be like a sheet 15 centimeters and let's say 30 long so obviously there's no material left for the door if we need a door that is 300 degrees Celsius or 587 Fahrenheit. This is awesome. Five minutes later, we have now over 430 degrees. It depends. It is a bit hotter in there. Fahrenheit over 700, but do fluctuate a bit. Should we try? Should we try a door? Let's see what happens. Is this good content? Of course it is. Oh, we're still burning. It's very windy today. Ouch! Hot! Some, something is actually burning there. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Maybe this is dangerous. Oh, we're almost up to 500 Celsius. But this oven is supposed to go up to 800, but of course it's at the highest here. We don't want that. Yeah, over 500, over 500, 900 Fahrenheit, Nine, 900 Fahrenheit. Got some stuff from the hardware store, we can make the door. I was thinking that we could just make the door stand on its, on its own, maybe. Something like that, a handle. Yeah, I know it's gonna be hot. Measure twice. That ones. It's not perfect. Hopefully it will do. Let's make the pizza peel. Pizza peel. Nice. It's not perfect. But we should be able to cook pizza in here. 400 in there, 450, that's 850 Fahrenheit. Oof, I melted. They started to smoke. That can't be good. The dough has now been proofing for three days. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but it's rained a lot and I need to do this outside. What I will try to do now is just split up this into small little balls. Yeah, because we're doing like very small Neapolitan style pizzas. Look at the, 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 the bubbles. This has like tripled in size. Yes, I'm standing in the trees again. 
I need to find somewhere shady. So we're gonna put small little balls into these containers and let them proof in room temp until tonight. And they may be overproofing and yeah, but it is what it is. I'm not a professional baker. It's about playing with the oven. Right, and as I'm filming, I need to be able to adjust my camera. So I will try to put some gloves on here today. So I don't mess up my expensive camera. Sunflower, this doesn't have to be this uh, expensive, nerdy flower, but yeah. Now when we have it, and I don't know exactly the size, but I'm thinking small. I'm thinking small if we should get the pizza into that small oven. And uh, I don't know how to get this out. That's this probably super runny. I was hoping to get some little dough out and form, just shape it into a small little ball. But we're sticking to the, the, the theme here with the nip. Sticking to the gloves. We're sticking to the theme here with the Neapolitan style pizza at least because, yeah, they often are like super loose, but could we make this into a ball? I'm just, I will just stretch it into something that looks like a ball and we should get some flour in here, I think, so we can get this out. I don't want to play with the dough too much because it's super loose. Boom, first done. By fermenting in a closed container like this, instead of uh, using uh, like a towel, you're keeping the moist in. You could also just like use uh, plastic wrap on your container. Okay, another small small little ball here. Maybe it's good to do them in different sizes so we can see which size is good for, for when we bake them. Boom! Okay, let's do this. We're all prepped. I have, of course, beer. Cheers. This ain't really ready for YouTube. Uh, Respo already up on my Patreon site, but yeah, this is not YouTube ready. Green to glass to follow. San Marzana tomatoes. I just mixed them. This was canned, but that, that's what I found. Uh, blended them. We have the Tipo 00. Not really important at this stage and some corn flour and also homegrown basil the homemade door which works quite nicely the pizza peel and a lot of heat let's measure it we have over 500 celsius 515 and that's in fahrenheit over over what this can measure like a thousand fahrenheit okay so uh, i'm so gonna mess this up i'm not a professional baker so i will use gloves but that's yes because of uh, the cameras i'm using this is really hot stuff don't try this at home you might burn yourself i know how to uh, let me rephrase that. I know how you are supposed to make a Neapolitan style pizza. How you're supposed to bake them out, but this is just a small one. And we need to make it more oval than... Uh, and yeah, there was an overpressure in the, the cans and, and the, the, the lids are bulging. So fermentation has proceeded. Let me see if we can get this one out. Yes, nice can get the extra so I will try to like it's, it's a little bit too small 
to really do this. Maybe I don't need all that. It's a lot of flowers on here. That's not good. I will try to like squeeze this out, but keeping the uh, you're supposed to do this thing, right? But yeah, if you have a tiny, tiny little pizza, which we try to make into some sort of oval, it's not easy. I didn't bring any buffalo mozzarella. I need to get the buffalo mozzarella right back. So flour, tipo OO, tomato samarsanas, Italian buffalo mozzarella, and basil. So this would be a classic margherita pizza. I do have some pulled pork, uh, homemade of course, we could try, but not just yet. So I want to do a classic Neapolitan style pizza and hopefully will it move. It moves here, okay. So uh, it's not a big pizza, but yeah. Let's get, get, get just a little here with the corn flour on and I will try, should we try this or lift the pizza? I think you should really like just, yeah, do it like that. Could probably make this happen in the first try. I'm stoked. Temperature, ouch, hot. Temperature is hot. Yeah, over 500 degrees. Over a thousand Fahrenheit. I don't know how hot it is, but it's super hot. Let's just let's do it. Let's do it already. Okay. And the flour is burning. Maybe it's too hot. I don't know. Cheese is melting. It's puffing up. This is working awesome. I need to flip it. I think it's too hot. I think it's too hot. We're burning. I think we're burning the, the crust. Yeah. yeah. Definitely it's too hot. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Neapolitan style pizza with a super burnt crust. But just look at this perfection. That was some Neapolitan style pizza. But yeah, a little bit hot. So let's lower the stone a bit. We will nail this down. Of course, I will taste this. I will taste it. What do you think? See how bad the burnt crust is. Need some seasoning, but yeah, it's too burnt. You shouldn't, won't eat that. But it needs a touch of salt. Someone cut the stone too tight. It was probably Michael's fault, but yeah, I've got this heat-resistant gloves, but this is a little bit too hot. We'll lower it like that instead. Uh, could also like try to put in this and see if that would help. Uh, let's see what temperature are we at now. 460 Celsius. 876. Let's try it. Let's try it. See if it works. Uh, should we keep it open instead? Maybe we should just put the, the door on while the pizza goes in. Let's try that and see if it helps. Come out. Okay, got that out. Let's try to like shape this one. Yeah. 
think this is a little bigger one. Great, the other one was quite small, but I have smaller one, those also. I can't really push this out the classic way because they are so, so tiny. It's really hot there. Pepper, salt. I didn't make like a sauce, I just took the tomatoes. So I'm actually gonna put some salt on here and a uh, hint of black pepper. And then uh, maybe we need some more salt. Thin layer of uh, San Marzana tomatoes and some buffalo cheese. Not much. Yep, let's put some on there. Some basil. I'm thinking we could like do some. Ah, it's it's burning hot. That, that was the whole intention. Let's put some. It's a little corn flour because it's really flamed up. And I will try to like move this over here. Oh! Now it's got really long and stretchy. Okay, that, this, this is not good. This is not. It's good content, doctor, don't worry. But the pizza is very long now. And uh, it's quite nice that, that I did stretch the pizza, li pizza like that. I should have moved it. Uh, I will put some more stuff on it then. Now when I actually like stretched it out. And I know that this doesn't look good right now, but wait for it. <laughs> That's from Guga Foods. So I will try to get this one in. Uh, it could fit. I got it in! Really far though. Uh, the end in there could be burning. Uh, we should we put the, the lid on? Uh, sorry, not the lid. Uh, the, uh, the drawer. Let's hope this one doesn't get, get burnt. It's starting to puff up. Should we flip it? Should we try to get this out and flip it. Could just use the other side here. Okay, so it's not like super cooked on either side. So far so good. Uh, there is a trick which we can do, but this is really hot. Why does it have to be long in there? It's puffing up really good. This is working and I'm getting pumped. Cheers. I don't know if you get the best angle of this. Maybe we should turn the, the pizza oven a bit. I don't think we have that uh, explosive heat that, that we had in the first one. Maybe we should move the stone back again and try to like do pizza on here instead and just put it in because this won't be super hot to start with. We could try that after this, but first. Okay, so crust looking good. And now I will just raise this and hold it very high. This is working quite nicely. Okay, it's super hot. Here you have the second pizza. Nice and cheesy. Okay, let's try it out. But it's it's super hot. And so is the, the peel. But everything is kind of working.
we didn't get as good like puff up this time this is really good pizza but pizza is like always good ain't it what is your favorite pizza please comment down below share with us can't say that this is my favorite pizza maybe the next one should we try it with the peel so let's move this up again get that <clears throat> and we try this again doing a new pizza on the peel leaving it's gonna get hot but leaving the I have the gloves leaving the peel inside of there and yeah trying it I have two more doughs even that knows in here so lid swollen means that the the dough has been continued to proof and you can see that because it has swelled up nicely Put this to the to the side. Check the temperature. Okay, we're getting close to 500 degrees Celsius, and in Fahrenheit we are getting closer to like 900 Celsius. No, uh, sorry, Fahrenheit, 900 Fahrenheit. It's so confusing, trying to. Do all of this in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Try to bake out this this pizza. Get this one on before. Now before we top it. Okay, looking looking nice. Moving it over. Oh, that went so super smooth. You should have got that in like slow motion. That would have been freaking awesome. Yes, I didn't swear. This is really nice and stretchy. And this is a thing I found with sourdough. That I didn't do anything to the dough really. The, the, the bacteria makes, makes it awesome. And look at, oh, look at that. And it's moving. Add some salt, but that's just because I didn't like salt the, the sauce. So we're doing it this way because I wanted to try the just with the San Marzano. Next time I will spice up the sauce a bit. Buffalo mozzarella. Don't use too much cheese. We'll just make it wet. The thing with the buff buffalo mozzarella is that it shouldn't release as much water as your normal cow mozzarella. Yeah. And some homegrown basil on here also of course and this time also i will sprinkle some uh, oregano on there because for me this is like pizza basic it ain't a pizza if it doesn't have the oregano on it okay and let's add a Sprinkle of olive oil on there. Oh, should have a close up and slow motion and stuff for all of this, but it is what it is. Are you excited? Are we still? Yeah, we're moving on here, but this time the idea is to like stick this in and see what happens, okay? So let's check it out. We will stick this in and we will let this. That means that we can't put the, uh, the door back on, of course. I could do the door like this, of course. I'm not stupid. Cheers. It's not like puffing up. It's not puffing up. We need that massive heat for it to puff up. I have a new idea. What if I did it first on the stone, turn it and then use the steel? What? Okay, it's puffing up. Sorry, it's puffing up. Uh, we need the, the hot gloves. We'll try to turn this. Good. It is puffing up and we're getting the 
maybe now we should have a look at it. Maybe now we should like do without this steel. Yeah, I will remove. Oh, it's hot. We'll also remove the steel, and now so we really get the. Ooh! Can you see this? Can you guys really see this? No, we can't. Can you zoom in a bit, at least, doctor? I shouldn't have taken it out. Man! Freaking awesome. So you can, I can work with the steel and the pizza stone, I think. Okay. That's actually looking quite good. It's actually looking quite good. It puffed up really nice here. And uh, yeah, got a nice crust on there also. Let's try it. So I'm thinking the best idea here is to work with the, the stone and the steel in combination with the heat on top. I never made pizzas looking so good like these ones with a little burned tips. Cheers. Uh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Ah, a nice air bubbles in here also. Now, this was amazing. The flavor on this one is so much richer than the last one. Just because we got that heat to it. If I got this pizza at a restaurant, I would be over the moon. But it took me three, three tries to be <laughs> become this uh, pizza master chef. Yeah. The experiment continues. Let's do uh, another one. Let's see if we can succeed with the action. I have some pulled pork here. Homemade pulled pork. Try that on there. But really try how to get a good crust. And I think the idea with working with the stone and the steel really helped out. This is a small one, and this is so loose, dude, so I can just let this fall by itself. Just turn this around, holding just inside the, the crust, some salt, some pepper. Yet again, this is just because I didn't season the tomato sauce. Tiny layer of tomato sauce, because I don't want the pizza getting wet. Some buffalo mozzarella. No, sorry, what am I saying? Yes, that's correct. Buffalo, <laughs> buffalo mozzarella, I'm, I'm not good at this like cooking thing. On YouTube, continue with the oregano. And now also some pulled pork in, on there. Should have some basil. Why not basil on there also? Oh, and yes, touch of olive oil. Not much. Something like that. Awesome. But I don't want too much because this kind of burns on there. Okay, pizza is on and it's moving nicely. Uh, I'll put it directly now on the stone and then I will turn it and then I will get the steel under it to protect it. We'll try that. I think that would work even better. Okay, the pizza's on there. And something is burning. It's the, it's the, the corn meal, the corn flour. Sorry. Cheers. Nice puffing up. Should I move it around? Get it really stuck inside there. I'm worried about the. Me moving as much. Okay, so now it will be on the steel. So we had some color there on the, on the bottom. It ain't easy cooking with so much heat. Maybe now I would need the the heat glove also. Okay, it's stuck.
This might look easy, but it's not. Whoop! Some real color on there now. Did I just burn it? Talking to the camera. It is a little bit burnt. I will show you. It's not that bad looking. Still good pizza. See, we got some color there on the pulled pork. And uh, I think it actually looks quite good. A little dark there, but let's, let's just try it. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. The, the pulled pork really worked on the pizza. There's nothing burnt. I don't taste anything. It looks on the dark side, but it tastes really, really good. Have you ever made a Neapolitan style pizza in such a heat? Please share your experience. So I, I would call this a success, guys. Uh, this really, really worked. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell to get notifications when I put out a new video. And don't forget to like drop a like on this video. It really helps out. And of course, always comment down below. Check me out on social media and sign up for my mailing list to get my free ebook. Yeah. Cheers and thanks for watching. Dr. Hansson.